Oh, good evening again, comrades. I'm bringing you this video now. A request from South Park 99. He requested I make him a Naruto Yu Gi Oh deck. And I have it here. And I'll now be featuring it here and showing you what I have come up with. In the description below, you will see what each card is and what it does. Because the text here is awfully small and kind of hard for you to get you to see it. See, kind of hard. Anyways, I will show you the deck. Please comment and subscribe. Same deal as before if you've seen my previous video. If you wish for me to make you a deck, comment and subscribe. And I will attempt to make deck and feature it on channel. And I may even send it out to you. So I'll be giving these away here pretty soon. All that I ask is that you, subs that you promote my channel. I'll have a very interesting YouTube series coming up very soon. You shall see what I mean in a few weeks. These videos take a very long time to make. Anyways, onwards, comrades! Alright. So, uh, start this off with... I have two of these. Pain's final attack orders. They destroy our mods in the field. Also, a dojo's technique. Two of those. This basically flips one guard face down. One monster card face down. Ah, and we have here, Jiraiya's Protection. Two of them. They protect all your monsters for one turn. Next. We have here, two of the third Hokage's Judgment. Pay half your life points to negate. One spell, trap, or summon. What do we have here? Yeah. Oh. Three sh oh boy. Three Shino cards. The effect of this card is negate one attack per turn. Yes. Three of those. Otherwise known as the Bug Boy. I also have here two Tomate cards. Yes. The fact is six star. The effect is return one card to the top of the owner's deck. Ah, oh, yes. And we have here three Sasuke's. Three of them. The effect of Sasuke is that when he is destroyed by battle, he comes back to your side of the field next turn. Next. One of my personal favorite cards. We have here three Rockley. But of Rockley, when he is destroyed by a battle, you can special summon a level a level four or lower monster female deck. Ah, uh, very classical card here. The reanimation jitsu. That's basically Monster Reborn. I have here three. Sakura's Rage. Destroy one spell or trap on the field. Let's see. Neji's move. Two of these. The effect is when a monster is no more special, someone destroy it. If it ended attack or higher. Remove him back. Next. I have two of these Itachi Sparalyzes. The effect is. Basically, the same as Fiendish Chain. Ah, yes. One of my personal favorites. Three. Hanada's Protection. Basically, the same as Forbidden Lands. They cannot be destroyed by spells and traps. Ah. And of course, it's a Naruto deck without Naruto himself. The effect of this card. You can contribute this monster to special summon two level 4 lower monsters. Next. I'll show you. There's two of those Naruto's. Three of those Naruto's, sorry. I got mixed in now. Three Naruto's. And now I will show you Shiki Mano. Three of these copies. And the effect of this card is you can take control of one of your opponent's monsters for the turn. Next. 
I have, I believe, two Gardas. Here's one of them. The effect of a Garda is that he, when he summons successfully, he can remove one monster on your opponent's side of the field from play. Ah, and now for the boss monster. Two, Orichi Maros. The effect of Orichi Maro is that he, once per turn, can special summon one monster from either graveyard to side, your side of the field. So yes, he is the most broken monster. And he can be special summoned by removing one monster from your graveyard from play. Anyways, this is the Naruto Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Please, tell me what you think of it, and if you'd like more videos, please subscribe and tell all your friends. Thank you for your time, comments.